A hyperbola has the equation x squared over 4 minus y squared over 9 equals 1. And we're going to find the vertices, find the foci, find the asymptotes, and sketch a graph of the hyperbola. First, let's find the vertices. So I'm going to rewrite the equation of the hyperbola down here. And I'm going to note that the x squared term is positive. That means that I'm going to call the denominator of the positive term, the x squared term, a squared. And then I'm going to call the denominator of the other term b squared. So that also means that my hyperbola is oriented like this and not like this. So a squared equals 4. That means a is plus or minus 2. And I'm going to take the positive value and say that a equals 2. And then b squared equals 9. So that means b equals plus or minus 3. And again, I'm going to take the positive value and say b equals 3. And my vertices are plus or minus a comma 0. That's the x coordinate is plus or minus a and the y coordinate is 0. So in this case, my vertices are plus or minus 2 comma 0. Next, I'm going to find the foci. And in order to find the foci, I need to calculate c, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in this case, that's going to be the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 4 plus 9. And that's the square root of 13. And that's about 3.61. So my foci are going to be plus or minus c comma 0. Again, that's an x coordinate and a y coordinate. So in this case, that's plus or minus the square root of 13 comma 0. Note that if my hyperbola had been oriented the other way, the foci would have been 0 comma plus or minus c. OK, now to find the asymptotes. So in order to find the asymptotes, I'm going to solve for y. So here's my equation for the hyperbola. And I can solve this for y squared over 9. That's going to be x squared over 4 minus 1. And then multiply both sides by 9. And now I can square root both sides. And so I'm going to get plus or minus 3 times the square root of x squared over 4 minus 1. Now I'm going to write that 1 as 4x squared divided by 4x squared. And the reason I'm going to do that is because then I can factor out x squared over 4. So that gives me plus or minus 3 times the square root of x squared over 4 times 1 minus 4 over x squared. Then the x squared over 4 can come outside as an x over 2. So that gives me plus or minus 3 halves x times the square root of 1 minus 4 over x squared. OK, so why am I writing it in this weird way? Well, I'm looking at asymptotes. So I want to know what happens as x gets really, really big. As x goes to infinity, that 4 over x squared term goes to 0 because 4 over a really big number is a really small number. So this means that y approaches plus or minus 3 halves x because you can imagine the 4 over x squared term being 0 under the square root. So this says that my asymptotes are going to be y equals plus or minus 3 halves x. Now note that this is the same thing as y equals plus or minus b over a times x. And if you want, you can just use the formula. But keep in mind, if your hyperbola is oriented the other way, the formula is y equals plus or minus a over b times x. Also, if you're going to be graphing the hyperbola on a calculator, you're going to need to solve for y anyways. So sometimes this approach is best because you don't have to memorize a formula and it helps you with the graph. OK, now we're going to sketch a graph of the hyperbola. I already solved for y. That's plus or minus 3 halves x times the square root of 1 minus 4 over x squared. And I could do this on the calculator, but first I'm going to do a freehand graph. So here's a set of axes. And the first thing that I'm going to do is plot the points for plus or minus a which is going to be at negative 2 and positive 2. And then for plus or minus b, that's going to be at positive 3 and negative 3. And I'm going to use those points to make a box. So I'm going to do all four corners of the box. This is called the central box. And this box is going to help guide my asymptotes. So the asymptotes are going to make an x that goes uh, through the box on the diagonals. So here's one asymptote. It goes through the center and then through the other corner of the box. And then here's the other asymptote, through the first corner of the box, through the center, and then through the other corner of the box. 
And now I can actually sketch the hyperbola using the negative two and the two, those are the vertices. So here's one half of the hyperbola, and here's the other half of the hyperbola. So it's not the best looking hyperbola, but again, it's just a sketch. If you were to graph this hyperbola on a calculator or on a computer, here's the graph that you would get.